Hey everyone, Eddie here. Let me flip this camera and show you what I got going on today. That's right, I got hand trucks going on today. This is my old hand truck from a famous brand, the Rock and Roller. Uh, this is actually my second one. Uh, they didn't have any other brands made back when we were buying these things. So I've used these for probably 20 or so years. Loved them, they work great. I just noticed certain quirks that I don't like about them. One thing, the pull wire, the thin clips back here because there's no tolerance. Look, I mean, even if these weren't a little bent out, you still, it still wouldn't be tight here. Um, I think this is a little too far out. Uh, the wheel thing broke off. I had to get that spot welded. And once again, this is my second one in that type of lifespan of, uh, 15, 20, maybe 25 years. I, I can't exactly recall, but I've had these for a minute and uh, they've worked well till that broke off. And now this one's just starting to fail me. Um, when I stretch it out, it droops down. The welder who spotted that on for me also had to bend the frame back a little bit so to get those wheels back from under it. So um, I decided it's time to get a new one. So this is my third hand truck dolly, uh, and as you can see, this is by On Stage. I love the design of the On Stage. I was looking at the Gator version, but what I don't like about the Gator version is the front casters. The front casters have far more angle here. And what I'm worried about, and from what I've read from many bad reviews, is that this whole thing bends so easily. So that's the bad thing about the Gator version. It looks like a tough, strong dolly by Gator, but unfortunately, the way they design their front wheels allows it to collapse. And according to many of the reviews I read, that was actually the case. But with my experience with these, I kind of thought that was the case with the Gator. Then I saw on stage and I'm like, well, wow. Okay, the wheels are a little bit closer. Which isn't a bad thing because these wheels are, are wider. They're wider than those. Um, the caster wheels are wider. Uh, I like how they're airless, just like the rock and rollers. I also um, like how it's less of an angle compared to the Gator version and even compared to the rock and roller. So there's more support under the cart less chances of bending this frame out if you were to accidentally hit something uh, or if this thing was to roll or whatever causes you know whatever you you know whenever you're trying to get over that causes these things to bend out another thing i also like about the on stage is look it's number of bolts on all these casters and wheels and if you look on the rock and rollers it's nothing but cotton pins everywhere they got nothing but cotton pins Another thing I love about this is the tolerances on this. It's so tight. Look at that. The cross, uh, the support bars here, the left and right support bars, man, they don't move. And the cool thing about this is you can use your foot when lowering them when it's time to pack this up. Look at that. I just used my foot. And you just let it go. And if you pull up on it, you can make this tighter so it doesn't wobble at all. And I think that's a great design because one gives you more, far more support than two little tabs like on the rock and roller that would be right here. This thing goes all the way across. A lot more steel here. Plus this cart's heavier. So that gives me more assurance that it's a heavier duty cart. It's probably maybe five pounds, eight pounds heavier than the rock and roller. But this one gives me more confidence. I also like the idea that these don't move because of that new support system with lowering and raising these bars. I believe uh, DJs, they sell a support table here. So let's say if you had a DJ picnic outside or even indoors, if you had to DJ something indoors, uh, you could turn this into a table. I got these tables here. Look, that thing ain't going nowhere. You know, and I love how the wheels lock. I mean, these things lock. Look at that wheel. That thing ain't moving. I didn't have that type of tight tolerances with these casters when 
I had two of my rock and rollers. They were not that good. Uh, not as good as this. And plus, I think due to the wheel design, uh, the pattern on the actual tires allowed this one to slide more where this one won't slide as easily as the rock and roller. So, I also found this to be $20 cheaper. So, hey, I get a heavier duty cart. I get new features, I get bolts, and it cost me $20 less. Why not? So, I just wanted to show that to you. If you have any questions about the rock and rollers or, or about the on stage, hit me up. All right, guys, have a good one. Eddie out. Peace.